the federal government announcing a giant recall this morning of more than two million cribs. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen here with details. Susan, this is a big story that just keeps keeps getting bigger and bigger. Oh, absolutely. What we're talking about this morning, this recall involves seven different companies, more than 2.2 million cribs, and 27 children have been injured. Do you want to bring that into the chickies? Carrie Myra was folding laundry when she heard a shriek coming from her daughter Sabrina's nursery. She was clinging to the crib sheet, kicking her legs and screaming bloody murder. The bottom of the crib had collapsed, sending half of the mattress to the floor. Luckily, Sabrina, who was nine months old at the time, wasn't injured. When I realized that the crib had fallen apart, at first I was terrified and then I was furious. Sabrina's crib is now part of a massive voluntary recall to repair 2.2 million cribs made by some of the biggest names in the business. This latest recall is our effort to clean up the marketplace of unsafe cribs. The cribs were all sold between 2000 and 2009. A majority of them have dropped down sides, which can fail and lead to babies becoming entrapped, falling out of cribs and even suffocation. It is easily installed on the crib. Consumers are encouraged to get free repair kits from the manufacturers to immobilize the drop sides. We want cribs to be a safe place for babies to sleep. The CPSC has recalled more than 9 million cribs over the past five years and is now working on mandatory standards that would ban drop sides and require cribs to have stronger wood, stronger hardware and stronger mattress supports. Carrie no, Myra says better standards for cribs will be good news for all families. A lot of them don't know they have this um, potential hazard in their home. I didn't. The CPSC says the new mandatory standards will be in place by the end of the year. And to see if your crib is one of the many cribs involved in this recall, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Just so, so talking, many cribs yeah, to talk about. Talking about millions of them now. What's the most important thing parents need to be taking away this morning? If you have one of these recalled cribs, do not try to fix it yourself. Wait for that free repair kit, which has the immobilizer. And don't let your child sleep in this crib without getting that immobilizer. If they're old enough, a mattress on the floor. If not, put them in something like a play yard, a pack and play. And to illustrate just how many of these cribs are out in the marketplace, where, where did these cribs come from? We bought these yesterday from people on Craigslist. The people probably had no idea that these were going to be part of the recall. We were able to buy them. And the CPSC is really saying if you have a drop side crib, get rid of it. They don't want people buying these cribs. All right, Susan, thank you so much. Right. I really appreciate that update. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.